Jonathan's cable there. Well, let's talk now to Mark Pack, who's the co-editor of the website Lib Dem Voice, and he joins me now from central London. Good evening to you, Mark. Good evening. Um, Mark, you don't write in a letter, do you, that the government has no compelling vision for the future of the country if you don't want it to be interpreted, you know, exactly as it says? I mean, as Vince Cable said, I mean, in a way, this is not new news. The letter itself was covered in the Financial Times a couple of weeks ago. I guess their leakers get to them more quickly than perhaps the BBCs do. But also the fundamental point about Liberal Democrats being very concerned to ensure the government is doing more on economic growth is not particularly surprising. It's also, in fact, a view that many Conservative MPs have aired recently, and quite rightly so, because that is the big challenge for the government this year. Uh, but the comment that he made about, you know, the vision for the future of the country, that seemed to go under the radar a few weeks ago. Mm. Now this letter, this full letter, has been made public. It's very much uh, above the radar. And I come back to you, you know, you don't say something like that, do you, if you don't intend it? to be picked up and looked at in uh, what anyone would say is a critical context. Of course, I mean, you see and hear very frequently Conservative MPs making qu comments and questions about what they think the direction of the government is and what it should be, and it's absolutely right and proper that Liberal Democrat members of the coalition government should be doing that as well. And I think it's also worth you know, bearing in mind that really at heart of it, there is this very important question for the government and for the country as a whole, which is how to ensure that economic recovery this year goes as smoothly and as successfully as possible. And the exact details of who wrote what to whom, I think, can sometimes detract from the fact that actually the government is clearly debating this issue, and that's absolutely what it should be doing. But is this negotiating in public, mm. and is it a sign that the Lib Dem mm. section of the coalition is less than happy with the progress that it has made? Mm. I think there's certainly some truth in that, that in the last year, year and a half, there were some occasions when the Liberal Democrats were very successful in negotiations with the Conservatives, but as they were negotiations carried out sort of behind closed doors, in secret, it's no surprise and no wonder that the public gave the Liberal Democrats very little credit for that. So there has been a deliberate change of strategy uh, at the top of the party to be rather more open and rather more public uh, about these disagreements. I think that's a very sensible change of strategy, not only for the political reasons, but also I think if you have those debates much more in, uh, in public, it makes for a better quality of debate and a better exchange of views than if you're doing everything sort of behind closed doors and you have anonymous briefings, this person said this to that and so on, in the way that we saw uh, when the Brownites and the Blairites were sort of tearing, tearing chunks out of each other, but through anonymous briefings and the like, rather than sensible debate in public. And, and very briefly, if you would, mm. Mark, does it uh, portray a sense that Vince Cable is uncomfortable in coalition? I think all the Liberal Democrat ministers would rather be in a government which was a Liberal Democrat majority government. And of course, the public decided not to vote for that, but you know, we do have a coalition government and Liberal Democrat ministers are quite sensibly arguing their corner. And of course, that means you know, Conservative ministers argue their corner as well. Sometimes they will agree, sometimes there will have to be quite a lot of talks and negotiations and a few arguments before a final decision is made on what the government does. But that's what you have when you have people from two different parties in the government. OK, Mark Pack from Lib Dem Voice, thank you very much. Thank you.